This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Hello, I'm Michael North for Think Tech Hawaii, and I want to introduce two very special guests who are going to sing a song for us, Pedal to the Metal. We have Spirit Artis and her brother, Victor Artis. So, Michael. Take it away. Da da, da da da. Driving down the highway, pedal to the metal, looking in my rear view mirror, said, I saw a pretty girl dancing in a tear. Said, I was driving down the highway, pedal to the metal, looking in my rear view mirror, said, I saw a pretty girl dancing in a tear. I was like, oh, looking back in time, looking at the moments when I lost my mind, oh, thinking about looking back on your original composition? Yes, yes, song I wrote. And so we not only have an extraordinary sister and brother combination, you have to picture a family of 11. Yes. Yeah, three little kids. kids. And you're <laughs> all bit. from the same <laughs> womb, right? The same family. Same parents, same and mama. you're from Haleiwa. You grew up mostly in Haleiwa, mm -hmm. north yeah. shore of Oahu. For those who don't know, it's a very rural area, north yeah. shore, Surfers, tourists, very laid back. Yeah, very very I very first, food. I first met you guys. I would looked it up. Fifteen years ago. Ooh. So you were a cute little girl, <laughs> and you were a cute little boy <laughs> at that time. Youngest. But I have to say, even at that time, you had a mastery and a presence that was just electric, and Thank you me. had a gravity and a talent. You, you, you're a percussionist as well as guitarist and so on. You had a, some amazing talent. He's but an awesome see, killer bass player. To see the whole artiste family playing together with song and dance and costume yep. and lights and action and so on, and with your great father, who was well known in the entertainment community yes. uh, as a composer and mm -hmm. behind the scenes and with some of the biggest acts of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. To see him, you could hear classical music, you could hear folk, you could hear rock, you could hear rap, you could hear reggae, yeah. <laughs> you could hear every variety of music. So I thought at the time, I thought, what is this, the Jacksons? Is this Sly and the Family Stone? Is this, and I realized it's actually so much greater than either of those oh, are put they. together, you know? And, the interesting thing is that your mother, now your, your father passed away so sadly mm -hmm. a few years back, but your mother kept you all together and raised you and kept you moving forward and Victoria yes, Artis, very awesome who is an awesome performer yep. in her own right. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. voice. She could be an incredibly successful soloist in her yep. own right if she wanted to be, yep. but she chose to be with you 
and the family and builds you up and to keep you sheltered from the many, many temptations of the music universe that came that, across your... That came your a lot from Pop. Pop. Yeah. The way, he, the way he, he raised us and what he instilled us from his experience of what he went through in the industry. So he made yeah. sure we understood of like what's out there. So like not that we'd be naive mm -hmm. of it, but we understood what was there. So we did decide to go in. We wouldn't be like wide-eyed kids like, yeah. oh, I want to be a star. I want to yeah. have a good understanding yeah. of the responsibilities that come with it, the temptations that are there, the different choices yeah. you can make, and the repercussions of those choices. So a lot of people came by and said, yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> We'd love to sign <laughs> so, these people. So many. We want to tour them. Let's go to London or something. But your mom said, we, let's, let's keep it together as a family unit. But here we now, this, this is a very exciting day, actually, mm -hmm. right it now. Is. Because Victor, your older brother Ron, and some other members of the family are now building your own solo careers, right? Yes. Or in combination with each other. Yeah. And you're going out into the big world for the first time. And Victor just wanted to say, in a few days you go to Los Angeles, yes. and you're going to turn that town on its ear. And yes. I just want to hear what you're thinking, what you're feeling as you get ready to get on that rocket ship to the West Coast. Why are you doing it? What well, do you expect? Two reasons, from a business aspect, and also I feel a calling there. There's a, there's a lot of broken people there and people in need, and I feel like the message I had through my music could help them. Mm. And then also um, being here in Hawaii for as long as I have, and being in the music industry, playing shows and everything. Uh, with my sound, I feel like there's better opportunities for me in LA also. So like better opportunities for me to like make more for my, my for my music and also to um, grow more as an artist, reach more people, yeah. and just grow as a person also. Yeah, I mean, but you know, the music industry is so different from the way it was 20 or even changed, 10 years ago. It has changed a lot. And so it, what's the formula for success, do you think, now in today's modern fractionated music industry? There's no clear blueprint for it. It's kind of like you just got to, like, if the right person hears your music and they feel like they can get behind it, but a lot of it is a lot of it is doing things yourself. Like as, like mm. 30 years ago, you couldn't do what I did. Like last month, last month in my room, I wrote five songs mm. myself, mixed and mastered them, mm. released them on iTunes, Spotify, and got a lot of good reviews and plays from them. And that was just me by myself. Mm. Now when I partner up with someone in LA, they would have helped me to reach more of the masses. But now I don't have to be like artists were restricted in the past of needing someone else to do. The, um, releasing to them, contacting, they need a middleman for them to release their stuff, release an album, even like yeah. we can like, burn a CD in our room now, but past yeah. you couldn't do that. Yeah. So, so Spirit, would you say that you need to be more multi-talented now? You can't just be an artist. Right? Yeah, you can. You have to be an agent and a promoter yes. and yeah, a record company. You can't company put yourself in one box. You got to do it all. You got to have all the different hats to put on your head. Yeah. So that's the only way. Like, um, For me, I do photography and music. And so constantly I'm like trying to balance them. Then I realize you can't constantly try to balance them. You got to work on them both like 100%. You can't sit one to the side and say, okay, I'll work on that one later. Yeah. If you want to make a living out of these two, you got to like give it your 100%. Like if you're sitting on the couch and you're like, oh, one day I'm going to do this. And then mm -hmm. you're like, the old days go weeks and weeks go by. And then you're like, oh, shoot, I was supposed to do that. And then you're like, oh, maybe. So no, <laughs> life is not like that. Life is never going to stop. So you got to. You gotta do it all. You gotta do the marketing. You gotta do constantly putting yourself out there. Yeah. And like, like Victor is saying, if sometimes you feel you have to leave to get better, like to build up a higher percentage of things, you gotta do it. Yeah. So for me, I I love Hawaii. Mm. Born and raised. I was born on the east side. The and island girl. <laughs> island girl. I do the not. East side. That sounds east side. So <laughs> Kylo and sounds girl. so urban, right? <laughs> I did not. I did not. Like, I'll visit other places. I'll go to. Um, I'll visit like I really want to go to Korea and like and take pictures there and mm. like really like reach the people there with my music and with my photography mm. and so that's like one of the things in the future that I'm working on but right now like in a, I think two weeks or a week or so oh a week no the 20th mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah going to California oh. I'm going to visit um, family out there friends and I'm going to do music and photography so it's just like putting myself out there but 
So with Victor Same. there, you'll yeah. have a couch you can sleep on yeah. and go back <laughs> Well, and my forth. mom's family is really we big in California. Oh, that's like that's her right. dad yeah. came from 15 kids, all male. Okay. They got <laughs> so a lot of couches Got there. family out there, like <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Do you combine your photography and your music? Yes, yes I do. And I'm working on like making a music video with my photography, just like uh, I have the music and then she's going to have all my photography through it and uh, stuff like that. So. Yeah, I love to combine it. And then with my photography, I also do put scriptures on it. Oh. They like give people positive like point of views for their days. Like if they're doing, going through something tough, I post like a beautiful picture of Hawaii. And I have something like an encouraging phrase or something. So you're 24 day. and your yeah. brother's 29. 29. You're staying here on yeah. North Shore <laughs> and he's going to the Bright Lights big city. <laughs> why, why are you staying in Haleiwa? What do you see is coming from <sighs> I don't know, I think Hawaii has a lot for it. It's a special place. Like, people, I mean, work their entire lives to come to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And they, they work their behinds off. So I'm like, okay, I'm here already. Mm -hmm. I know I can make a living, living off of it. Like, photography and music, easily. This mm -hmm. is the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful places on earth. Mm -hmm. So you can easily make a living off photography and then music. It's just, it's the melting pot of the world. So many people come here, Everybody and you can reach here. everyone yeah. who comes. Just like you get people from all over the world. So I've learned like multiple languages, just like able phrases to help out people. So it's, I love this place. It's it's so home. you you <laughs> especially well. All of you have a mission. You have a yeah. purpose. You have a message, and each one is different. You know, yeah. kind of, praise kind Jesus of. has her way, and you have your way, yeah. and Ron. Ron Jr. has his way. Just what is the message that you want to communicate in your art? Mm -hmm. It's beautifully kind of connected in a way, though. Like, our messages are different, but they're all, um, like, if you're familiar with, like, the Marvel movies, it's kind of like how we do our business as a family. <laughs> yep. like, there's all these singular movies, and it builds up to the Avengers movie. You're a superhero. <laughs> yep. yeah, you that's, how, that's how we do, like, um, uh -huh. like, we have our solo acts and our different things we do, and, like, our messages would sound different, but then it all leads back to, like, we all come yeah. together. Mm. And you can hear it's like different voices speaking of the same message from different perspectives. Mm. And that's how, how we reach different audiences because like the whole world is like so vast in personality. So what is types. your message? My and message. Use that, <laughs> use that to lead into your song because we want to hear you sing. Hey, well, yes. Okay. <laughs> My message is like, well, a lot of people are always like complaining that life is really, really hard. And I was like, well, if life wasn't hard, would, it, would we be who we are today? Would we be the strong individuals? And when we're having tough times, it's, it comes down to us to choosing to make our day positive and choosing to choose love instead of strife. So I wrote a song, I just released the album for it, and it's called Found the Day. And okay. so this is it.
I find a day without troubles and worry. I find a day with my dreams. I find a day with my dreams. I find a day. Found a day with my dear. <laughs> we take a brief break. Yep. Be right back. Hello. Spirit and Victor. We have this crazy thing going on today. I was just walking by, and all these DJs and producers are set up all around the city. I just walked by, and I said, "What's happening, guys?" They told me they were making music. There were a lot of people that claimed they had no musical talent and then sat down and kind of played some really nice sound. So we do it. We're back with uh, Spirit and Victor Artis. And I have a question for you, Victor. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people, young people, who may be watching this, who say, ah, oh, he's so great. I could never do that. I want to be creative. I know I have the spark in me, but I really, I better go be an accountant instead. Um, mm -hmm. What do you have to say to people who feel driven by a creative urge but don't have the confidence to maybe be able to step out the way that you are and just talk to them direct. Life's too short. Life's too short to be insincere. I mean, if you have a part of you that you feel needs to get out and you're thinking for security reasons or feeling more safer in this world that you want to hold it in, it's, it's like killing a, a piece of yourself. So I would say life's too short. Stay sincere. No matter how awkward it can get, embrace the awkwardness. Be you and be true. Have you felt any of that, of that kind of inhibition or any doubt? Yeah, I, I have struggled you felt with the, that. The being hesitation? very different. Yeah. Being very different and like, yeah. um, as a musician, as an artist, like, seeing what's successful and then hearing yourself and how you sound and how you present yourself. And at one time I thought I need to be what was acceptable. Mm -hmm. But thanks to my, my dad, he was like, yeah. I never told you that as a child, just be you and polish yourself the most you can be the best you you can be and work yeah. on that shape it polish it and then my, my mom was that way with my voice is like she loved the way that I would sing and I would try to imitate my brother or my my mom who's an amazing singer yeah <laughs> like, she's like no just use your voice and, do, and yeah. do you the same voice you sing to your little sister with and yeah. you sing her to sleep to use that voice and like um do that use the victor I, voice yes through that yeah. I've found the courage you know but it didn't get easy from there. It was still hard, but just being courageous and like, remember, I had a reason. Everybody needs to find a deep reason that runs deep, and that reason will keep you sincere. It will keep yeah. you true. Reminds me of a quote. Picasso's mother was talking to him, and she said, Pablo, who do you want to be when you grow up? And he said, Picasso. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> complete that thought from your point of view to all the young women out there who are also feeling like, oh, we got family, we got career, we've got kids, we want to do all this, but I've got this creative thing. What do you say yeah. to them? For me, um, is don't give up. I, if you have that talent, you feel like it's burning inside, it's only going to get brighter, it's only going to get stronger. So the older you get, the stronger it gets, and the more it eats you up from the inside that you didn't let it out. So for me, I was... Number six of 11 kids. So <laughs> <laughs> I was a middle child. I was always like the super shy one. Like oh. when people came into my family studio, I would always hide in the back. I would babysit the younger ones. And then one day my mom was just like, spirit, you need to come from underneath that rock. Stop being selfish with your talent. Mm -hmm. Why are you letting them waste? And I was just like, mom, I don't fit in. I'm, I'm super nervous. I'm weird. And I was just like, all these things about me. And 
people aren't gonna like my voice. And she's like, what are you saying? She's like, mm -hmm. she's my huge, she's my huge support system till mm -hmm. this day. And when I perform, I shake, I'm nervous. I wrap my foot <laughs> up in a stool so it stops shaking. Uh, so the nervousness, the butterflies, they're never gonna stop. So just, just be you. Hard be, to believe it was yeah. the talent you have that you're nervous. <laughs> I'm shaking right now. Stay humble, talking. <laughs> Stay humble. Well, <laughs> props to mom. Yeah, mom's. Yeah, mom's and I just, I just want to say we. Had, I want to go into a song called "Smile," which yeah. is a family mm -hmm. song. I've heard you guys sing it like six or eight of you all together. But I think it's your song <laughs> to yeah. begin with, right? It's a song I let's, wrote. Let's hear that song, "Smile," and let's dedicate it to mom. Yes. Okay, Victoria Artis who helped these beautiful young people be here today. And we're so grateful. Love you, Mama. <laughs> I don't know. 
see you dance, wanna see you fly into the sky, wanna see you shining oh so bright, so One final word from each of you. Mm -hmm. You think of an artist who is an example and a mentor to you. Who is your? Uh, my mom and Stevie Wonder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the two of them together, I can see. Victor? Um, it's kind of cliche, but it's my dad. It's the only reason I play music, because yeah. I was like running away from my musical talent, and I refused to play music. I was going to be like an extreme sports athlete and, yeah. um, and a comic <laughs> book artist. And I was not going to do any music, but my, my dad showed me what I had inside of me and that it was okay to be sincere. Okay to be sincere even if you're like different sounding, even if you sound like kind of weird, but. Yeah. yeah. So all respect to your dad too. Yeah. That's the only reason I, I play music. Him too. Oh, that's awesome. He so me. we'll let go for now, but I know we're going to be hearing from these young folks again. Yes, you will. Yes. So, aloha from Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs>